is Chamber becoming Valorant's most overpowered agent once again? As we all know from previous episodes and acts, just how broken he was before, replacing Jets on teams, just being so fast. A pocket duelist, some people called him. He was abused in pro play, he was abused in rank play through every single rank. And in 6.11, we might be seeing that happening once again. Now, the title of this video should be something like How Chamber Will Break the Valorant Meta Again. Well, realistically, he kind of broke it horrendously before, and these new updates are kind of shifting us towards that pattern once again. We're going to throw, go through some of the changes now, and then we'll uh, we'll have a look at some of the maps and see what he can do now that he's got new updates to his, specifically his trademark range. But anyway, let's go through one by one, and we'll talk about what the patch notes actually say about him. Now, the patch notes say this, and I quote, Chamber has taken a back Z in overall pick rate after the last round of changes in patch 5.12. At the time, we reduced Chamber's sphere of influence significantly. We're looking to put more power into his ability to lurk and give him more flexibility within his setups. Now, it's always scary reading the uh, patch notes from the devs on this because they often get the balancing wrong and they push things too far or maybe don't do things as much as they should do. Um, especially in this update now, I think they're kind of, in this update meta, should I say, they're really scared of shifting and balancing things how they think they should be and instead leave things lackluster or they overtune because they're a little bit out of touch with things and I'm not here to bash them or anything like that. So as we can see from their notes initially on the changes, they're looking to just bring him a little bit more back into the limelight. And uh, honestly, it almost seems like they're trying to push him back too far. But I mean, we're gonna see from the changes and see what everyone else thinks as well. But let's go through one by one what the changes actually are. So his rendezvous, which is his TP, um, they say the reduced weapon equip time after post teleport lockout from 0 0.7 seconds to zero seconds, so it's instant. When I tested this in game, which I'll probably show you later on, it didn't seem like that, it didn't seem like it was instant, uh, whether that's because I haven't played Chamber for such a long time, or whether because they've they've not tuned it properly, I'm not quite sure, but it seems to be that you equip your weapon faster after teleporting, um, and you can test that for yourself if you're a Chamber main, maybe you'll know the difference, but for me, I didn't feel that much of a difference, um, but I think the big change realistically with Chamber this, this time around is the trademark, which is his trip. They have uh, increased the disable range from 4,000 to 5,000. So on the map before his radius that it would equip in and stay active in is now much larger. And when I say much larger, it doesn't sound like much 4,000 to 5,000, but that actually makes a difference between sort of being able to play on one flank on like a triple site map and still having it active on the other side of the map. So let's say something like Haven, you could have it active in garage and probably still be able to peak a long, things like that. But we'll go through the maps and have a look at that later on, obviously, as well. And they've also um, reduced the armor speed from 4 seconds to 2 seconds, so it'll become active a little bit quicker as well. And the last change is to the Tour de Force, which is his ultimate, uh, and they've increased the firing rate by 15%. It got tanked before, I seem to remember. Uh, it used to be really rapid, it used to be really broken sort of operate that you'd get every few rounds. It was great for economy. He is still a great eco pick as well, but the... Um, the ultimate wasn't as good before and there was not as much clutch potential out of it it was really quite like, slow and sluggish but now 15 percent increase the fire rate makes it a lot more viable and uh, we'll have a look at that in game as well so let's look at it this way right you're a chamber player on ascent we're going to go through each map one by one and realistically you probably don't have to have someone playing mid if you're going to have a chamber tripping that the only thing you suppose you have to worry about is having someone play tree for an a player but realistically if you look at the map now you can see that you know, the mid walk up to market is tripped and you can peak from both A main and B main as chamber and your trip would not disable. Whereas before, if you played A for it in this set, for example, it would disable. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now over on sort of the A site peak and what you can maybe get away with now. So let's say you're a, you're a chamber playing this, you're still within your trip's range perfectly fine. So you've tripped mid, you don't have to have someone specifically playing for it. You can have someone playing tree, uh, sort of doubling up for A. Um, you can set your TP down somewhere like realistically kind of safe I guess if you have a tree player and you can fast speak and you know you can hit your TP completely fine no problem and you're still in full trip range so let's go have a look at it somewhere else maybe let's go have a look at it on on the B site if you were to say a chamber site uh, player on B and you wanted a uh, fast speak where you get away maybe you play like that and you do like a corner or something like a weird setup again you're getting away with your free peak and getting away to safety you still trip middle you're safe from that it's pretty to put that somewhere else. Maybe I'm not, not exactly well versed on the chamber chamber motive, but you know, just getting away with things like this, still getting your TP off. Still trip middle, fine, perfect both sides. Ascent is like a perfect one for uh, for chamber to play. You, you can even literally drop back to site like somewhere here and still be in your trips range. It's good. It looks good for ascent. Now we're on bind. I think chamber is a bit of a different pick for bind. I wouldn't really know why you want to play him on here. I think there's a lot better characters for it specifically. Um, but probably a few things that you would want to trip if you're if you're a chamber player 
I suppose if if you're playing B, you're going to probably want to trip whatever it is that you're not holding, but you're probably doubling up on the site anyway. Uh, but for the sake of it, you know, let's say you, you want to do it in, in hookah. So you trip hookah. Maybe you want to go play long with your op or something. Still playing it. Still fine, obviously, within your range. Perfectly fine within that for that. And if you wanted to do your trip or something, you know, you can trip that. Or you can even go further back, potentially. What sort of range could you go? You'd probably go to that and get back to site pretty safe. Fast peak. Getting away fine. Still tripped. Everything's still good. Um, but I feel like you're probably not going to get as much value out of that. Probably the best way you're going to play Chamber on, on Bind is through playing Heaven, most likely. Which means that you're going to want to maybe trip Showers or something like that. And then put yourself with your TP up in Heaven. So let's say you go into Showers. You place your trip down. And as you can see on the mini-map, if you look now, you can just still play in Heaven with your trip active there. Which means that you could technically solo hold A for information and everything else and play this fast and you can put your trip in the corner you play this fine you play your angle with your op whatever you need to do hit that hit tp got all the information there perfect it looks great on the map it looks perfect for the setup one other thing you could potentially try is i suppose if you're not playing that you could maybe trip that still and then play in just here like normally like you might normally play it as a, any other agent and you're still within the range itself as well as you can see on the map and you can put your trip down play the angle and hit your TP back if you need to. There's probably also a way of doing it which I'll have a quick look at now so if there's a skip that's why but I'm going to see if you can try and play opposite sites and have the trip active as well. So here's another thing that I found I have my trip currently placed in hooker as you can see in the corner covering for the info on that but I'm also able to actually play a short as well at the same time so this is also a little bit more of a multi-role character I guess now that you can fill information for both sites you're playing for A short and you're playing for, for B hooker. That's like full information. So I, I would say if you're going to be a chamber player, you should probably play A and you can do that trip or you can play for the one in showers and then you can play heaven. Something like that is probably the best setup. And obviously you still get away with your doing your TP like this and stuff. You take your shots, you TP and all you got to do to get back in trademark range is just walk a little bit over here and get it reactivated and you're all good to go. So Bind, again, is a re looking really good for him. And his team has been so undervalued since his nerfs previously in patch 5.12 or whatever it was the last one they said it was. Um, his changes now are bringing him much more into the front of the of the pack. And I think that makes him a little bit more broken for this setup. Just because someone like KJ, someone like Cypher doesn't really have this ability to set up on defense and also be you know, aggressive on a peak and not throw their lives away completely. Because you, you know, you've got your TP to get away fast from a peak if you need to. You have your, your pocket up basically with this, which is just unbelievably broken. You have your actual up, which is now a lot stronger. And you can get away with a TP so fast. It's like a mini jet, but that has good defensive capabilities as well. So bind A plus again for, for Chamber. So this is probably sort of the first thing I would look at if I was Chamber playing from Fracture. Uh, with the new update now to the radius, I feel like you can get away with a much wider of a peak and still be in your TP as well, obviously, like off the rip. So this is playing B main on Fracture. You can peek this far, still be in your trip. You could probably move your trip a little bit closer as well, maybe. But you're still within range of your trademark as well um, for your trips. So again, you don't get that awkward timing sometimes where you can come all the way down here and you're like maybe aggressive peeking and then they hit a flank on your B, come through your arcade. That can get really frustrating. Um, but that's, this new update kind of gets, gets rid of that. I mean, you can peek all the way out. You can play really, really weird angles. Anyway, the point is that Chamber now can play quite aggressively on this pick and not get away with him being caught out on an arcade flank or something like that because he's out of range of his trip. So B, locked up, looking good. Let's have a look at something else. Now if you take a look at the mini map for this setup for A on Fracture again, you can now see that we are within range of our trademark that is out there on drop. So we are covered for that flank pretty nicely for information. And we are still within range of our TP like this as well. It all fits in nicely just on the map. So you can get away, have a quick peek, and you can just about make your way up for their rush through and use their full utility to clear you. So if I was a chamber probably playing on, on Fracture, I think this A setup is pretty good because you're playing for the information there. You could also alternate these between themselves as well, so you could maybe trip in A main and play drop yourself. But I, I think it's better to, to trip drop and to trip your sort of main flanks that happen and then play for the actual mains itself, the main peaks, not, not necessarily the, the flanks. So for A, I would play like this and for B, the one I showed you is pretty good. I would probably say there's probably new ways of putting your TP down to play play that differently. But you know, I think if you're a chain B, you're probably going to play A and keep this tripped. And you can fast speak with this. Get away. 
And by the time your trip's, if they've committed at the same time, by the time your trip's gone, you can play that as well pretty comfortably. You're out of A main safe, whatever, all good. So it looks pretty good for Fracture as well. Haven is going to be one of those tricky maps. Three bomb sites means the Chamber can play a lot more versatile wherever he wants to. Let's do the like typical trip that people place, which just about gets that. So we're playing that. So where can we peek off the map? Let's take a look at the map and see where we can actually peek and get away with still being active on that. So we can play C as we pretty much could before, fine. We can peek B main, which is fine. And we can also, it would appear to peek A short and get away with it and just play that corner. So let's go take a look at that quickly now, because that looks like the most interesting one, I would say. So let's say you put your trip down for garage, you're playing that information, but at the same time, you can fast peek down A short if you really wanted to get away with it. You know, you can TP whatever else to get back. So let's say you wanted to TP back to that corner of the site. You can peek all the way down here and you are still within your TP, even out this far. So you can get away with the TP out this far. So you press your TP, you're away, trip's still active on garage, and you can still play this corner and still be active like all the way. You can even get out of spawn probably before it even deactivates, can you? Yep. So you can even fully rotate and get out before that trip's even deactivated. And vice versa, you can come in and go out and it'll still be there. So that is pretty much a golden trip, I would say. Just the fact that you can peek off A alone and get away with it is fine. Oh, let's take a look at some other ones though. Now, this trip isn't perfect obviously because it lets them get into B pretty much for free, but you have the info at least. But if you take a look at the map, we can play both for A long and C long and get away with it completely. We can play behind the sides, we can play for peaks, we can play for literally anything we want and still have that tripped. And like I said, it's not the most perfect trip ever, but you can place it pre-round, get away with it, and you can go play for your peak down here and you can place your trip, peak out, TP away, no problem. I'll show you that now. And you're out with that, your trip's still active in B have all the information in the world. Let's go take a quick look over at C, a TP down, and you can once again fast peek. Look at the map, you're still within range of your TP, your trademark, everything. Good, looks good. And I would say that's probably the way you should play it. I don't think you should use it for anything else. I think tripping garage or tripping B and then playing somewhere else sort of frees up the opportunity for your team to play a little bit more aggressive somewhere and double up, maybe triple up somewhere. I definitely think it's worth doing the garage one and playing sort of a short, I think that was quite technical, but if you want it to just be a little bit more holistic and maybe you're playing retake on B, maybe you, you play with a breach or someone and you, you've got the util to break through um, like a post plant. So I, I would say maybe the B one is good, but more, more often than not, I think the garage one plays well with a good team and you can play for your A short or you play C, whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, I think uh, Haven's a good play as well. So we're on Pearl now, and I think this is one of the maps where Chamber will once again be quite broken with the triple setup. I think you can get quite technical with it and I don't really know what the best one's going to be in terms of how to play him just because I think there's a lot of things you can trip and sort of forget about but the first one I think we should take a look at is probably tripping inside B maybe doing something just completely standard completely basic you can do it anywhere I think more than likely you're going to want to just put it on the corner so you have the info if they're like playing it at all and straight away we can see that you can play A stairs and you can play anywhere pretty much on C. So let's take a look at the A stairs on the map now. So you go over, you can play from the corner, you can play around the corner and get in there before your TP, uh, before your trip runs out of range. But more than likely you're gonna do like a, a TP like this and you're gonna wanna try and play it close like this. Take your shot, get away, still in full range of everything, looks good. Let's go take a look over at C now. Like I said, it's going to be a great map for him regardless. You can play your C1, you're still in the trip range, so even for one, if they're pushing into B, you can retake, whatever, you can play door, and you get away with your fast peak. You're still in your TP range, trip's good, everything good. Once again, easy map, really. There's probably not many other ways you'd want to play that. I suppose you could do like the trip into a tree and play inside B, you'd have the range for that. Everything else feels like it's probably not worth it. The idea is that you want to use your trip for the information and then play something else that's more important. And I think tripping tree versus having someone play tree, you get a little bit more value out of having someone play it, I think, and doubling up A. So, yeah, I think the setup more implies that you probably want to trip it inside B and play a retake on that just because the site's so dynamic anyway. Um, and then you can play off your C or your AP or whatever you want to do, something like that. So Lotus is an easy one. So Pearl is an interesting map for uh, for Chamber completely now because of the, the ability of this range now means that you can do so much more. So let's place the trip down somewhere safe. And if you take a look at the map, you can see that we have tripped over here up at B-Link, which covers obviously the rotation through back into your spawn and into like the connector weather and also you guess the door. 
and your walk down here. Uh, you have your trip place, you can fast peek off B long, completely fine, get away with it. You're even covered playing all the way back here with your trip, like you can play all the way back here, play it safe, do whatever you want and you're still covered in your trip. Also run the new pearl changes so that all this is accurate and up to date. So yeah, so B is, B is a lock up wrapped and you'll also see from the map that we actually have room over on A now to fast peek and get away with it and still be active with our trip as well. So we put our trip down. And we can fast peek, get away with it, TP out. It's done range of our trip, as you can see on the map. You can play in art, you can play for, um, you can maybe play in flowers a little bit if you really wanted to, just try, try and hide a little bit more. You're still within your range if you play something like this, just to be really sneaky and try and get away with something. I don't know. But the point is that you can fast peek on both sides and still have your trip active and still have your TP to get away safe. Everything within range, nothing's you know breaking anywhere. Pearl, super broken once again for chamber and it's going to be great once again. One thing I do want to say, I was going to say it probably works for art as well, it doesn't actually work for art. If you wanted to trip art, you're going to have to play sort of B heaven if you wanted to to um, be able to be like multi-site or something like that. You're going to have to sort of play somewhere along here and you're, you can't exactly go back without breaking it. Yeah. I think this is probably the strat, but again, you, I don't think you'd play like this. I think you'd want to do the B links trip and then play um, something along those lines sort of for the a pick or the b pick um you probably wouldn't want to trip r and then play b heaven i don't think that would be the play you'd have to have someone playing for for um for b link at that point this is a super set defensive setup i think if you were to do this and i don't think this is the right way you should be playing it i think you should be playing it more aggressive so i wouldn't recommend tripping art but the b link trip and then playing for either site is probably the better way to go about it and here we go over onto the last map in the current rotation. We are on Split, which is probably one of the worst maps for Chamber, I would say. Just because I think you get a lot of value out of a Sage Wall mid. And, you know, people can argue that it's break it and it's over. But no, I mean, there's a lot of value and your slows up mid are really good. Probably a little bit of a waste to play a Chamber on this map. But let's just say for the sake of it, maybe we wanted to. Where would we want to trip? Where would we want to play? Well, you're probably going to have to be the person tripping for middle so let's try and get a trip that covers all of that so we are now tripped both for good at that and if you take a look at the map you can see that we can peek on a pretty much everywhere we want to or that you'd maybe really want to anyway and on b it would appear that we can't quite get away with what we want to do which means we probably need to adjust our trip a little bit it's probably not too much of an issue maybe something like that they could boost up and over that box but i don't think they would so something like that probably more gets you away with it. So if you look at the map, you can fast peek on B and you can also fast peek towards ramp, heaven on A, anything like that looks good. So let's have a look at how that B pick would go. Maybe you trip something like that. You can fast peek, TP away, trip active, TP good, safe, no problems. And let's go take a quick look over at A now. So let's say you want to play for like, hmm, maybe ramp, you do a TP to get away, nice, you can play that, you probably even put it a little bit further back actually, I'm not too sure about the ranges at the minute, play something like that, fast peak, TP away, still within range of your trip, TP is nice and safe, you're looking good, same thing for heaven, you know, you probably, you can't replace screens because your trip won't be in range, but you can do, you know, a safe pick for heaven, something safe, get away, in range of everything, still perfect, even when you're out here, you're still within range of your trip, no problem. TP safe, looking good. So again, there's probably not much more you'd want to trip if you're playing uh, on split as chamber. You kind of have to play mid as a sentinel and just hope they don't boost over that box or use something to get over that box. But you're going to hear it on the map anyway. Um, but yeah, so it also looks good for split as well. So in reality, in the rotation, there's not one bad map for chamber. I think there's probably better picks and I think there's still value in Cypher, KJ and Sage elsewhere on the map and with a new sentinel coming later this year, obviously. Um, yeah, he, he has a lot of usage. The problem is with him, you have to play really aggressive. You have to be someone who's fast speaking. You have to make value out of the space that you're given. If they aren't playing your site and you've got something tripped, you can hit a flank and, and realistically, you can just play the dangerous game all the time of flanking. And they're always going to be on the toes about it, not sure what to do. And I don't want to drag this out too much, but obviously other people have their have their opinions and other agents have their own play styles and what makes sense and where they're better. I just think the Chamber was so broken in his previous state that he kind of has a place again now being back usable and for for lower ranks i think he could dominate and i think for higher ranks maybe going to be another question um 
But yeah, I mean, my opinion is that he's obviously quite broken. I think he could shift the meta quite a lot as people figure out better places to put his trips and stuff. You know, we're only a few days in at this point to uh, to the new ranges for stuff. So other stuff might get found. But from what I see right now, I think it's quite meta breaking. And um, I look forward to using him more in comp myself and just seeing what I can take with him. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like, uh, comment everything, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to be uploading a lot more content and we've got a lot more things coming out soon that are planned. And uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next one.